Northwood and Walsh locked up in a GLIAC football contest last Saturday. First meeting ever between the two teams. Walsh's first ever game as a member of the GLIAC. Opening kickoff set the tone for the game right away. Alex Bell sends it deep. Freshman Mike Keith comes down and gets the big tackle, setting Walsh up inside their own 25-yard line. On third down on the ensuing drive, Ryan Whittem smells the playout. Big form tackle. Northwood forced a punt. Later on, after a Walsh field goal, Cavaliers led 3-0. Cameron Jackson took the ball from his own 12-yard line, and he is gone. Second career kickoff return touchdown for the junior from Georgia. Northwood now on top, 7-3. Later on, on a third down for Walsh, Kyle Feeke smells the running play out. He makes the big tackle, stops the Cavaliers short of the first down, forcing them to punt. Later on, this is the third, first play of the second quarter. Darrell Ward on the blitz up the middle. He gets the sack, sending Walsh back into their own territory. Later in the drive on third and seven, draw play up the middle. Safety Ryan Spicuzzi not fooled on the play. He makes the tackle for loss. Walsh went for it on the fourth down, did not get it. Northwood still on top, 7-3. Later in the second, Aaron Shavers finds Eric Williams for a 10-yard gain. First down for Northwood. Still driving the Timberwolves now. The handoff up the middle this time will go to Rashad Hedgepeth, and the sophomore breaks into the Walsh secondary. He gains 17 yards, breaking tackles, gets Northwood all the way down to the 16-yard line. Four plays later for the Timberwolves, Jordan Yonker will get the handoff up the middle, and he will score his first of two touchdowns on the day, the junior does a good job on this draw play, finding a lane to the left, and the draw play fools the Walsh defense. Lots of running room. Good job by the interior line of the Timberwolves, and untouched the end zone. Northwood now on top. Later on now, this is Walsh driving, but Ryan Whittem smells out the play, gets the sack on the rollout. His first of two sacks of the day. Northwood on top, 14-3. to three. Later on, it's 14-10 now, long punt, and Eric Williams gets into the open field, 27-yard return. Nothing comes of it, Northwood led 14-10 at the break. First drive of the third quarter, Northwood's defense holds, and then Eric Williams makes two guys miss, miss at the initial point of attack. He busts it open, 51 yards later, he gets it down to the Walsh 22. Northwood took its time from there, but did get in the end zone seven plays later. Cam Jackson gets his second TD of the day on this run to the right. Northwood now on top, 21-10. Physical run by the junior once again to his right. Northwood offensive line did its job. Got Jackson in the end zone. Northwood now on top by 11. Later on, Corinthian Gray breaks, makes a nice break on this play. Holds Walsh to, Walsh to a no gain here. And the defense continue to play well. Here's defensive line breaking through. Justin Barnes almost gets through to the running back. However, Ryan Whittem comes in. Another big tackle for the senior linebacker, forcing a Cavalier punt. Defense continue to make plays. Damien Horton gets a good break on this ball, getting the pass break up for the Timberwolves defense. Fourth quarter now, Aaron Shavers finds Carrington Thompson on the big reception, 22 yards. He gets it down inside the Walsh territory. And then the big play, a third and six play fake to tight end Corey Goble. He goes all the way down to the two yard line on the very next play. Jordan Yonker, his second TD of the day, the hand up off the middle. He goes on the end zone. That puts Northwood back on top, 28 to 16. Northwood's defense was the story the rest of the way. Senior Andrew Cox turns second and 10 into third and 17 with this big sack, forcing a punt. Later in the quarter, Justin Barnes puts the icing on the Northwood victory. He breaks through the interior of the Walsh defensive line, gets on the quarterback immediately, forces the fumble. After a mad scramble, Kevin Kelly recovers it. That put it away for Northwood. Timberwolves with the win, 28-16. Cam Jackson was 78 yards rushing. He was also the Gleick Special Teams Player of the Week for that touchdown. Yonker, 40 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Ryan Whittem, 10 tackles and 2 sacks to lead the Northwood defense. Northwood back in action Saturday night at Notre Dame, Ohio for a 7 p.m. kickoff.